What's up, everyone? This is a Destroyer229, and welcome back to Let's Play Persona 4 Golden. Last time, we were a little bit frazzled, but we still managed to get through most of heaven and made it up to the mid boss. We are just at, right before fighting it, but we do have a full Persona deck that I would very much like to use up, so that way we can refuse Yatsufusa. In this episode, we're starting off with the Velvet Room, so that way we can free up said space. We do have Kumahanda to start with, but I do need to make sure that I don't accidentally Fuse away material that I need for Yatsafusa. So, I'll just see what we can make with the materials that we have, try not to fuse away something that we need, and we will go from there. Alright, I think I know what combination I want to use. So, we are fusing away Scotty, Kukulane, and Seiryu. In order to fuse, Kumbahanda. Alright, now I definitely want Zeodyne. And I also... Ooh, I can make him a full Ma user. Maraku Kaja, Masuku Kaja, and Mataru Kaja. Well, I do want to have some sort of counter. So, high counter would be really nice. As much as I want to do the SP. He also starts with Masuku Kaja, which is also really good. And he also has two Tarunda skills as well. Uh, you know what? Sure. We'll go with all of the Ma skills. All the Ma buffs, so let's go ahead and do it. Alright. New Persona added to the Compendium. We'll get Alertness, which I'm not sure how great that'll be. He also gets Fire Amp, so that'd be really nice. Lowers odds of being taken by surprise. Not super great, so we'll just get rid of that. Okay, next is Resist Alec, which is honestly pretty good. And the Auto Sukukaja is honestly a really nice skill to have. All right, now this time, let's maybe not get rid of Mediadama. So we are fusing away Thoth, Orthrus, Mikami, Narasimha, and Mothman in order to fuse Yatsafusa. Okay, so first things first, Mediadama. Don't forget it. Invigorate 2, because that's always nice. Megiddo, because of high, well, just any sort of almighty skill is going to be pretty good. I guess that doesn't really matter too much. I guess I can have Null Wind. It's not super great with Yatsafusa, but if I want to pass that down to someone else, that's what's going to be nice. Or if nothing else, they can just be a free spot to get rid of for any additional skills. Okay, so we at the very least get Heat Wave. Next is Power Charge, which isn't super good with, with Yatsafusa. And Dodge Physical. So honestly, I'm not quite sure what I got rid of for that. If it wasn't Heat Wave. But we got it now. And just to make sure, I can't imagine needing to do another another run on this profile, but you know, just to be on the safe side. I lose so many good things though. That's kind of the problem. Simer Karm and Maragidine and Mind Charge. Uh, you know what? Nah, I like my old one a lot more. 
At the very least, I have Thov with Mediorama, so if for whatever reason I ever decide to do a third run on this profile, I can at least more easily fuse it. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Two more to go. So next is Ganesha with Tetracarn. I haven't seen Ganesha. And I honestly don't remember what Arcana it is either. Uh, let's see. I will meet you guys when I find Ganesha. Found it. All right. So it's a Star Arcana. It is level 53. So easily uh, accomplished and within my level range as is. So you know what? Let's see if we can do what I wanted to do last time and try to finish up Margaret's social link. Welcome to the Velvet Room. translated as that girl like obviously she's talking about Elizabeth but why'd they say that girl instead of my sister was that how it was in the original I honestly don't remember again it's been a long time since I played the original Persona 4 I don't think I played it since I did the let's play and the bonus videos afterwards Alright, but one more left, and I think it's Trumpeter? Trumpeter, yeah. Trumpeter with Mind Charge. I think Trumpeter might be a little bit too high level. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I could. I very easily could. But that is a lot higher level than I really should be. It's a great Trumpeter, though. I really like how it turned out. Okay. So, maybe not necessarily finishing up Margaret, uh, but it is still very good. And I'm going to have Kumba Honda out just so I can get the auto Masuku Kaja. Also, I'm going to save. I already saved before, but I don't want to have to go through all those fusions and stuff again. Thankfully, we can go ahead and go to the mid boss. And I was planning on trying to do with the other stuff that I wanted to do but it w I figured the best way to do it would be off screening it or just bringing kanji along for a bit but I didn't get any time to actually sit down and do any off screen stuff so it'll it'll have to wait until we head back into the TV world because we're gonna need to do that for quests and stuff anyway so anyway I'm gonna go ahead and change up my costumes real fast much better. 
Alright, let's go ahead and fight us a bit boss now. Um, no, not that way. I'd rather not have to deal with a shadow like that. Alright, now, if we can just easily get past that, uh, we're not gonna get past it, are we? I think that's new! The green sigil. Yeah, it's new. Watch yourselves. Uh, okay, well, it could either be wind or electric. Uh, let's go ahead. Hmm, I don't really have anyone that has multi-ice skill, do I? Mostly focus on, yeah, not really. Well, dang, okay. That's Quaddle. And since I don't have Thoth anymore, I don't really have my light user to test out certain things. Okay, all of them hate wind. Cool. Uh, in that case... Can we use Muldoon on you? Yeah, well, it worked! <laughs> Not immune or resistant to it. Ooh! I'm honestly surprised all of those hit. <laughs> hey, well, that turned out pretty well. Did we really get anything? Um, hmm. We can try for a skill card. <laughs> Imagine if it's Mediadama. And you're dark. Alright, hey, I don't feel so bad. Okay, so now that we got that taken care of, switch back to Kumba Honda, let's go ahead and fight us that mid-boss. So, now we have another fight against the world balance. The world balance has those exact skills and those exact skills only. And also just knows light and dark. Yeah, pretty much exactly the same as it is in the original. I am honestly shocked that it's giving us all of this information for a mid boss. But yes, it is single target dime spells to be used on pretty much anything. Uh, so I. I'm wondering if I should switch to Quetzalcoatl, or is there anyone else? Dakunda's not going to be super great. I could always Mind Charge. Yeah, let's Mind Charge. That's a single target Dine spell, so at the very least, if it does target me, and if it would kill, I've got Chie and Yukiko that could kind of take the blow for me. And thankfully, Naoto also just nulls. Well, not really nulls, but she's neutral to all of those anyway. Then again, I should probably have a Madaku Kaja, but yeah, you know what? Let's go and use a Tempest Slash. Probably should have used a magic spell instead. Oh, well, that didn't do super great. And there was that! <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and at least put up a Matadunga on it. Because it's predominantly just going to be just using Mind Charge and then trying to exploit our weaknesses. Uh, Lilith has the best magic that I can do. Plus, she's not weak to anything in particular that it can throw at me. Ooh, there we go. That's what I want to see. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and, you know what? Just, just end with an Agudang. I don't really have too much to really go off of anyway. The problem is, is that it does go between Yukiko and Chie. Okay, so let's go ahead. No, I'll just hit with another Zeodyne. Okay, Mind Charge probably would work a lot better. Alright, let's try and guard. That's what I was afraid of. Ooh, 
Ooh, and it would have auto killed her. Oh, that's not good. I won't lose. Okay. Um. I am down. We did Ahan anyway. Okay, not quite what I want to see. Um. Let's switch to Kumba Honda and put up a Maraku Kaja. Go ahead and hit him with a Bufaldine. And guard. Okay, thankfully he opted not to try to exploit my weakness, so that was nice of him to do that. Have you control heal. Then let's go ahead and we'll put up a Masaru Kanja. Just so that way our attacks can do more. Because that is definitely what I want to try to accomplish. And if I can, I'd like to try to score a crit. No idea what that was. Okay, his attack's back down. Let's use a Matarunda. Make sure we're all good to go. I will put up a Masuku Kaja. Buff everyone. Take the time to buff. All right, about one more round, and I think we'll be good. Ooh, that's what I was afraid of. But thankfully, with all the things that I put up, it honestly helped out a lot. Okay, defense is reverting, but that's fine. Let's go ahead and... No, we'll give it to uh, Kumba Honda anyway. Zeo done. All right, we won. We did it. Oh, well, that wasn't too bad. Congratulations. And I leveled up. Nice. Okay, let's go ahead and heal up everyone. And I guess I can keep Kumba Honda for the time being. So I was kind of worried that I wouldn't really have anything to really talk about for a discussion, but after kind of thinking about it, I think I do have something that I could potentially go over, and honestly it would be pretty good for two separate discussions. And that is the topic of theoreticals. So the main thing would be theoretical FEMC changes for Persona 4 and 5. Now originally, I figured this wouldn't be too big of a deal for any sort of discussion, but honestly, after kind of mulling it over and kind of seeing what changes would need to be made, it's honestly kind of interesting just how more complicated Persona really makes it to actually try to implement a sort of female route. Okay, I did manage to kill both gold hands. But that was very much a problem because I don't have any personas that have Masakunda or Dekaja. So that's bad. Okay, uh, well I am going to get to the next floor, use a go home and grab a persona that has Masakunda. I'm gonna need it. Anyway, so as I was kind of mulling about, it was actually a bit more complicated, but for completely... <laughs> completely weird reasons. So, for today, we're mostly going to be focusing on... Persona 5, as if there was a FEMC route. Now, why Persona 5 and not Persona 4? Because Persona 5 is a bit easier to try to explain how that would work. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so. Quick run back down. I have still have plenty of go homes. I'm gonna grab me another persona and we'll continue this discussion. 
All right, so I went ahead and got this. It's a little bit lower level than I would like, but I was also trying to look for Arcanas that I could still use for social links, and this was the first thing that I could readily find. So, Persona 5 for a FEMC route. Now, there's a lot of discussions online about having potential FEMC routes for an actual like 3D Persona game as opposed to what Atlas did with Portable. And honestly, I think it's definitely easier going forward with say a Persona 6 rather than trying to retroactively do it with something like say a reload type situation. But I do still think that it is at least theoretically doable for both Persona 5 and Persona 4. Also, you're stuck in a door. And you're new! The Intrepid Knight. Okay, I don't like where this is going at all. I also have Yatsafusa Nakubahanda. Crap, that's gonna Don't waste me a turn. Okay. okay, well let's go ahead. Let's go. We'll hit them all with Blight. Maybe we can poison the knight. No, I can poison myself. Cool. Okay, good. Okay, how do you feel about fire? Pretty neutral. That's not good. Uh, okay. This is not going as well as I would like. You are also next. Okay, um... I do not like where this is going! <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna switch to Lilith. And I'm gonna use a Medi on. So I would like for none of my party members to die, but we'll see where this goes. Okay, that did a lot. Um. Hamaon? Or you know what? Mudun. We'll try Mudun. Okay, that would not work as well as I would have liked. Good, if we can knock you down. Damn it! Okay, um... Dirahan. Let's just heal up Naoto because she is pretty close to death. Fortunately, the gold hand gets up. And that's not what I want to see. This is why I got this! For this exact scenario. He does not like Naoto, and that's the first time her dodge physical has come into play. Nice. Okay. Um... This may still be a bit of a waste, but let's try light. So it no, it also oh, nulls light. Cool. Yeah. Yikes, Dang, tough. I was really hoping Yukiko would be able to do something about that. Let's see if we can't try to get rid of you. Ooh, that defense up does a lot. Okay, not too bad. Let's try Lilith. Uh -oh, now poisoned. Can you be weak to electricity? You are. Hey, Senpai, I got your back. Uh, sure. Oh, Kanji, why? <laughs> I was hoping you knocked down both Goldens. Why do you hate Nalto so much? You're on a roll. 
Okay, she's cured. That's good. Bad news! She doesn't have electricity yet. Persona. Try a blight. <laughs> At least I poisoned the knight. You can win this. Come on. Okay, can we maybe? No, we can't. Oh, jeez. Okay. Uh, this is really not going well. <laughs> Trying to trigger, like, a follow-up attack so that way I can get an all-out attack on everyone. Hopefully the hands are still not really doing a whole lot. Okay. I can hit you with a Zeodyne and maybe Chie can do her follow-up attack? No. Nothing from Chie. Cool. Um... He does seem to have a pretty good resistance to electricity, though. Um, do I have anything that might potentially help in that regard? I don't think I do. There is Yatsafusa. Let's maybe switch to Yatsafusa and hit him with an Ogidine. I mean, it still does a lot of damage, and... Oh, wait, no, that was his attack uh, defense up. Oh, he also knows Blight, which does a lot. Okay, um... Trying to get rid of you. Okay, if I could get two crits and then a knockdown... Ah! Okay, heal her up. You are about to run. Okay, this this is where we basically... Oh, boy. Um... Uh, you know what? He's almost downed anyway, so... Megidol. You resist so mighty? Oh, you know what? Ooh, that might be a blessing Let's in go. disguise. Someone finish this one off. Except if I can't hit anything. Come on. Take it. Really? <laughs> A revolution? And I can't freaking crit. Oh my gosh. Looks good kill. Oh, come the hell on. That was Lilith, not Dis. Crap. Um. Do I have. I have purifying water. Do that. Okay, that sucked. That sucked a lot. I just cannot. Now, now you get the crit, Chie. Uh, I mean, it's not like she didn't get crits before, but they didn't trigger follow up attacks, and that was what I needed. Alright, what do we got? We got nothing really good. Get a massive recovery to HP and SP. God, that sucked. Okay. So anyway, like I said, Persona 5 is a little bit easier to really try to get a FEMC route for because honestly, I am convinced, and I do not believe I could be convinced otherwise, that Kasumi was originally designed to be a FEMC for Persona 5. She has the look, her Phantom Thief outfit is very reminiscent of Joker. Her gloves are the exact same color, which is also very symbolic. And more new enemies. Conviction Sword and Joltoons of Blood. Okay. Let's see what we can do with a Zeodyne. Or a Ma Zeodyne. Don't give up now, okay? I know electricity. Okay, uh, not the best, but it is decent, at the very least. Come on, you guys okay damage. Ice? 
Resist ice and neutral. Fire. Resist and neutral. That's not good. Okay. At least Naoto's next. Um. It's a strong one. Don't lower your guard. You, I'm not too concerned with. It's the Jewel Tunes that have me more worried. Hmm. Do I have anything else? Uh, I guess I could use the Atafusa. Almighty worked pretty well. And I have Naoto coming up next anyway. Try wind. Let's try wind. Persona. Neutral. Don't stop now, mm, not on. quite what I want to see. The Jolteons may not be weak to anything in particular. Ooh, that's also bad. That is honestly really bad. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and just smack ya. Well, that could have gone badly. Thankfully, it didn't. Jeez, a nines? I don't think that's necessary, but thanks, game. So, there's just so much about Kasumi that I think that she would make the perfect Fem C for a Joker. So, in this scenario, we're basically removing Kasumi and just treating her as a Fem C Joker. So her story is completely erased and just replaced with what Joker's was. Um, not that that's too much of a problem because in several of my Kasumi rants, I have made it clear that you could really just completely remove her story and nothing would really change all that much. Thankfully, Nanako is not that far away. Uh, so, oh, this might not be that long of a discussion, actually. I'm really hoping this may be a little bit longer. Well, maybe we can then use an opportunity to try to get Naoto and Kanji's uh, duo attack in that case. So, that's what we're going to be treating this discussion as. Is if Kasumi was always intended to be a FMC Joker, Removing her story entirely, but we are going to be keeping Maruki and Akechi stuff uh, just because that stuff is a lot more fleshed out and is honestly just a lot better. So what exactly changes? So fun fact, because all out attacks are also almighty, if you do an all out attack but don't kill all of them, they will also do the same thing where they will use Masuku Kanja. And if they can't do that, then they will just run away. So that is really annoying. Especially if you do manage to knock them all down really fast. So that was annoying. So anyway, that's kind of what the base of the discussion will be. Is if what if Kasumi was instead a female Joker? So let's maybe start from the very beginning and start with the inciting incident against Shido. Yeah, definitely not doing that. Now's your chance. Run. So would anything meaningful change when it comes to taking on Shido? And honestly, I don't think it really changes too much. Like. I think that anything it would change would be how Shido's response to Joker would be in this situation, in which he may just turn his attention to try to assault her. Whether or not it would necessarily be to throw a punch or something else, usually in terms of, say, sexual assault, because, you know, he is kind of an asshole. Oh no. I'm mean, kind of an asshole describing Shido is a massive understatement. Jesus! Okay! Okay! It just has bash and vile assault? Bull! It must have some way to have heightened crit chance. Um. 
I am not staying around. Where are my... Please tell me I still have some. Good, I have plenty of vanish balls. Got caught on a corner. So, like, there is some, like, I guess cultural implications about, like, whether or not, like, there would be a criminal record when it comes to, like, a girl in that similar circumstance. But I think it can work because, honestly, Shido just does not care. And whether or not it's simply because of being rebuffed or the fact that he did just fall on his face trying to go after Kasumi Joker. Just for the sake of simplicity, I will still refer to her as Kasumi, but, you know, essentially a Joker in this instance. Let's also go ahead and use up... I think I went past it. My go homes. There's my go homes. Go ahead back and we will... Yeah, we'll just go ahead and head over to the secret lab. And we'll replace someone with Kanji. I'm gonna replace Chie. Just so that way I still have a healer. Oh, that's interesting. It's still letting me go from the highest floor. That's nice. And maybe for the best, anyway. So, I think regardless, Shido just doesn't care and would still basically try to ruin Kasumi as much as he could. So just so that way we still have just a similar inciting incident, it's pretty much the same that way. People might still be like a little bit like concerned that how is this cute girl like ha be such a troublemaker, but ultimately the same thing still happens. Uh, rumors are abound, you uh, still go over to Sojuro, which I mean, I guess Sojuro wouldn't be as much as a prick to Kasumi as he would be to Ren, but still would be a little bit of a, here are the rules, don't do anything stupid, okay? So, uh, th the biggest change that I could see is that Kamoshida would very much come off a lot more creepier because ultimately I still think the same sequence events could still happen pretty much intact. Uh, you meet On, On gets into the car, you say no, you then meet Ryuji, and then you go into the metaverse for the first time. Oh, oh sweet, you can kill level that. So ultimately that sequence of events still happens. I guess what would also be interesting would be... Ah, oh, jeez. Who exactly would be this Kasumi's starting persona? Would it still be Arsene? Or would we switch it around so that way it would be Sondrion? And I could, can't really do much about Gold Hand since I don't have Chi, eh? <laughs> Wasn't really expecting that. Anyway, Mudo Boost, don't care. So, I think it would be rather interesting if instead of just doing the Orpheus route, which always felt weird to me, that they just made basically a female styled Orpheus, as opposed to doing like Gridities or whatever Orpheus's betrothed was. Like, I think it would be interesting to actually have a sizable difference, whereas Ren has more darkness oriented, Kasumi is still light oriented. This would make for interesting complications towards the end of the game, but for the sake of sequentiality or just, you know, just doing things in order, uh, we'll go over that towards the end. And you know what? I'm trying to get other things. The goal hands aren't really going to be super helpful since I can't crit them or do an all out attack on them super easily. So I'll opt not to go after them. I couldn't do it. Kachikun, now is the time! Yeah, try to keep up! Come at you!
That's barely a warm up. How the heck is that Beauty and the Beast? That is very, very on point for Kanji. How does that make sense for Naoto? Well, anyway, I got what I wanted to show off, so that's good. Still in the middle of the initial explanation. So, anyway. So, for, just for the sake of argument, we will just replace Arsene with Sondrion. Otherwise, things still happens as usual. You still run into Morgana, blah, 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 blah. So then comes Kamoshida. And I feel like when it comes to... Have we gotten items from these two yet? Yes. So when it comes to Kamoshida, I feel like up into the point where it's like, oh, you're gonna be expelled, the three of you, because it would still be Ryuji, Kasumi, and Mishima. Though I guess it would be a little bit interesting, the fact that Ryuji and Kasumi in this case are just the two outcasts. So, kind of an interesting turn of events. But anyway, all that's still the same. I feel like one of the major differences that you could go with to make Kamoshida seem much more of a creep would be him essentially saying, you know, there is one way that I can rescind yours and your alone expulsion. Meet me in my office after school and we can discuss things. Which, obviously, has sexual assault vibes, if not much, much, much worse. But that is the sort of power that Kamoshida has. So, yeah, he would absolutely- there was chest over this way. He would absolutely abuse that authority over some punk girl, at least who he perceives as a punk girl and try to either knock her down a peg or really show her who's boss. Which, again, increases the ick factor, but ultimately uh, the resolve is the same, you go steal his heart, blah blah blah. The interesting thing is that pretty much for the rest of the game, nothing else really needs to change. You have Madarame, who, which... Kasumi doesn't really need to be super involved with. Uh, you have Kanashiro, who also, his main concern is with Makoto. So while he may still basically try to use you for like blackmail and things like that, his main concern is still with Makoto of all people. Just because of her connection to Sei. Futamba's is still the same because it doesn't really matter who's the head of the Phantom Thieves. She's still going to ask for help. And then you have Okumura, which is also the same. Sai, who is also pretty much the same. There is also just the interrogation of whether or not they would be that strict um, with a girl. And honestly, I don't see any reason not to. Even if it's just a matter of less physical abuse and more psychological abuse, it's still going to be some form of abuse that they're going to do until Sei gets involved. And then you have Shido's, which is also just going to be exactly the same. So pretty much when it comes to the main story, not much really changes. You have a little bit of a difference for an inciting incident and a little bit of a difference when it comes to Kamoshida. There is a matter of whether or not your party members would really react too differently. And minor differences, sure, but not really anything that would change the overall narrative of the story. In terms of social links, the only one that I could see that would require a bit of a rewrite to still make work would be Kawakami. The fact that the whole thing of meeting her is because it's just a really stupid guy thing that Ryuji and Mishima get wrapped up in. Uh, it's It would be kind of weird to basically kind of involve a girl in that. It can still kind of work. Uh, basically that you, either you're the one that basically brings it up to Ryuji and you're just kind of messing with him going, hey, let me join in just for the heck of it. Which would throw him and Mishima off guard, but would still just kind of be funny. Then there's the matter of just the mistaken identity, I guess. 
which I guess that would it may still work when it comes to Kawakami, even though it might would be like, huh, normally I get male clients, but this is different, but okay. So that could also still theoretically work. It, again, it would require at least a little bit of a rewrite to really make work. But far from impossible, I feel. So that's pretty much it. Like anyone else, it really doesn't matter all too much. Yoshida would still be the same. Oya would still be the same. Uh, Chihaya would still be the same, Hifumi. Like, pretty much everyone else would still be exactly the same. There wouldn't really need to be any additional rewrites or anything. Uh, maybe slight narrative changes for, like, say, Shinya. Basically, like, you're a girl, sort of thing. Because, you know, he's a kid. But still, ultimately, the social links would still work as they originally intended. The main issue that I see trying to get working for this sort of gender swap are more the group events. The group events are what I feel like would be the ones that would require the biggest rewrites, just because so many of them are very much gender-coded. A lot of time, it's basically... Either the, more, more often than not, it's the boys doing something stupid that kind of ticks off the girls. Um, but more often than not, like, like that's pretty much what it is. It's very much the generic anime tropes, and it's just boys do certain things, girls do others. So that would be where I feel would be the biggest changes would need to be done. So... I'm trying to think what exactly would be a good example in Persona 5, because Persona 4 definitely has that more in spades. Um, I guess the Hawaii trip might be a, a big one, because there's a lot of... But then again, you're spending a lot of time with just the Phantom Thieves in general. There is trying to meet Haru, which I guess would could be redone, so that way it's you, On, and Makoto that more so do that. Um, so, I mean, Makoto still doesn't really recognize Haru anyway, so I don't think that really changes things too much. Um, it's been a hot minute since I played Persona 5, though. So I'm trying to remember many other scenes that were pretty much coded like that, because, like, I can remember a lot more from Persona 4 and 3, just because I played both of those more recently. Um... But honestly, like, those would be the bigger scenes that would need to be modified. Uh, that, and of course, adding in romancing, which I guess that would be the other thing, would be who exactly would be romanceable. Because you'd have a lot fewer options compared to the, to the male route, because <laughs> you definitely can't date everyone that's of the opposite gender the other way. That gets really creepy really fast with Yoshida and EY on one end and then Shinya on the other end. So there's, there's a bit that would may need adjustments there. Again, that's why I feel like rather than retroactively applying it, it should be more so for future games. But just to make the game work, you don't need to invest, like, entirely new social links, completely new events for every single thing. And trying to reuse as many assets and as many events as possible would be the way to go. Ultimately, though, that does kind of come down to uh, the final boss when you're fighting Yaldabaoth and what to do with Satanile. Because if we are going to be going with Sondrion, Satchin Isle does not work well. So my idea was that you still basically have... Oh man. You still basically have... Basically, Kasumi would be summoning the ultimate persona to shoot Yaldabaoth through. But rather than just being a comically large gun, and especially it being a demon lord, let's more embrace the opposite route, considering that we would be using light instead. 
So, rather than a demon lord shooting a sinful shell at Yaldabaoth, instead we would basically have among the holiest of beings shooting a beatitude bullet. So instead of just it being a comically large gun, it's more so similar to like a magnum, but just shooting it directly through Yaldabaoth precisely the same way, but just framed differently. And instead of Satanile, instead I was thinking that it would be a, I guess more personalized form of Maria. I know Maria is a Persona in Persona 5 Royal, but since that was introduced that and we're just using this hypothetical, if we're going to be going with an opposite route where Ren is more of a demonic influence, whereas Kasumi is more angelic, despite basically just being the same person, it just manifests differently. I feel like it being Maria fits a lot more thematically with that sort of juxtaposition. Again, it has the exact same effect, it's just framed differently. Uh, but I feel like it would just be a nice little twist on that. Uh, but otherwise, like, I don't feel like there's really anything super major that I feel like. I guess the main thing, I guess, I'm trying to think of different events where it is specifically the boys. Like, there's that. There is the Hawaii trip a little bit more, now that I think about it, when it comes to room assignments. Um... Because it seems weird for Ryuji and Mishima to basically... I guess basically be locked out of their own room, because they were both it To be fair, they are both idiots. So they, that could just straight up happen. Um... So, I mean, it could just be, uh, instead of whoever On's partner with, you are partnered with On, the two of them get locked out of their own room, and it's super late, and they don't want to bother a teacher, so instead, they did the only thing they could think of, and go bother you and On. But other than that, like, I am trying to think of more events. I guess there is the beach event after they after they basically get Futaba to come out of her shell. Um, there's the hitting on girls thing there, so instead it would be interesting if it's just time with the girls. You know, that way, like, it could also be that you all see what the boys are doing and are like, what? So that would just kind of be a fun just juxtaposition for what's happening there. But again, like, that's pretty much where the majority of the changes would need to be with in terms of events. Main story doesn't really need to change much besides the inciting incident, the climax of the story, and just the first arc. Every other arc that you do really doesn't matter if Joker is male or female. It can work either way. So, I do feel like that would be something that could be doable. And again, even when it comes to the social links, when it comes to Maruki and Akechi, those don't really change too much. So, I guess the only thing when it comes to Maruki would be you would lose the incident with Kasumi. But his story works just as well when it's just him using his power incidentally on his fiance. And then he tests it on just other people and can really see the full extent of his own power. You don't need Kasumi for that. Maruki's story works just as well without her. So the only other thing that I would think of would be just trying to create Romance roots, which I mean, I'm trying to think. I mean, you have y Ryuji and you have Yusuke. There's not really I, Mishima as well. So those three would definitely be options. I can't really see much anyone else. Sojiro definitely wouldn't. He's your guardian for crying out loud. 
EY, I guess, technically could work, but the fact that you are not that much older than Karu really doesn't sit well with me. Yoshida is way too old, and Shinya then has the Ken problem. So the only other romance routes I can realistically see happening would be Maruki, which is also messed up in its own way, but I feel like is on a similar level to Kawakami, so it's fine, I guess? And a catchy, which, oh boy, would that be hilarious to see. I mean, people already ship a catchy and Ren together. Imagine if it was Kasumi as a protagonist and a catchy. That same animosity, but in more of an actual lover's quarrel. Oh boy. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else. I mean, there is also like, what about things like Strikers? Not paying much attention to Strikers or any sort of spin-offs. Um, just the main story. And honestly, I really struggle to think of anything else. There's probably a few other scenes that I might be forgetting. Because again, it's been a while. But honestly, I think Persona 5 definitely could have worked pretty well if they had decided to have a female protagonist option. So, darn shame we didn't get that. Um, Persona 4 definitely has a lot more changes. I figured 4 would be pretty easy. And the more I thought about it, the deeper the rabbit hole goes with Persona 4. <laughs> Uh, so there's that. But, yeah, I feel like it could have happened. Would it happen on any sort of potential remake of Persona 5 in the vein of a reload? Probably not. But, you know, it's fun to think about. It's fun to theorize. It's like, could this story work if the main protagonist could be selected as female? So, I think it would be fun to think about, and I think that 5 easily could have. Again, I am convinced that Kasumi was originally designed to be a female protagonist. But either they ran out of time, like they realized that it would be too much time to really do it with the budget that they had. Um, or some other reason. But regardless, they decided to just reuse the character design and just develop an entirely different character instead. I am forever convinced of that. <laughs> I don't care if any uh, evidence comes out to the contrary. That is my headcanon. Now I'm gonna stick to it. So, with all of that out of the way, now that we got to see the thing that I wanted to show off, Unfortunately, didn't get into too many extra battles. Didn't have too much of an opportunity to try to show off Chie's bike attack. But regardless, we're gonna call it a day here. So, next time on Let's Play Persona 4 Golden. We are taking on Kunino Sagiri. Uh, not really a whole lot else besides just doing social link stuff afterwards. I don't foresee the fight taking up the entire episode. So we will probably be able to have additional time afterwards. Just be able to do a lot of socialing stuff and just in general try to get further with our other social links. I'm still going to try to focus on the various school social links. So we will definitely try to focus on those. Uh, but in the meantime, we'll at the very least just keep on working with what we've got and just try to max out as many social links as we can. Until next time, everyone. Take care.